Well, well, hello, MGTOW. Um, no fishing, huh? Well, this is what kind, what you'll get if uh, if you decide to get married. You like that sort of stuff. You don't get to have any fun. As for me, I get to enjoy life. Free. Anyways, um, I want to talk to you guys about my last video. Here's the old trusty bike. Serving me well. And uh, anyways, um, last video, right? It was a video about atheism, right? And as, as we have it, we, have a, we had a lot of... Um, a lot of comments on this video, you know. I expected a lot more uh, of a of a backlash um, than than the rest of my videos, and that's what I got. It turns out that you know a, a lot of guys, you know, a whole bunch of Bible thumpers, ended up, you know, telling me basically to shut up. Uh, supposedly, I didn't know what the hell I was talking about, but uh, not one of them came up with something that is uh, remotely or remotely resembles an argument against what I was talking about I was talking about the freedom of man uh, and uh, it looks like a lot of these guys when when they don't have uh, you know it's like they need something to attach themselves to right if they if they don't have a woman they will attach themselves to a religion uh, if not, they will try and attach themselves to a government that tells them to go out there and fight and risk their lives and, and, and die for a greater cause. And so, the, you know, these guys don't understand it. You know, MGTOW is not about, you know, uh, holding off so that, you know, women, women will eventually get the bigger picture, right? The quote-unquote bigger picture. Supposedly women will get the bigger picture. The rest of society will get the bigger picture, and um, you know, and, and, and the MGTOW will will be victorious at the end, right? So it turns out that a lot of these guys coming to MGTOW, they're thinking of MGTOW as as a way of implementing social change, and that uh, that is very far from anything that you know the original. Um, people you know who put this philosophy together had in mind MGTOW is not about bringing about social change we we talk about things that are happening in, in greater society right but it's not necessary that that we engage in this in this uh, you know change for you know social uh, so, so that people so that people in, you know uh, change their social behavior, right? MGTOW, you know, we, we look at purple hair, we disagree with it, we disagree with the philosophy behind these women uh, wearing the, the Polaroid shirt, right? They wear a Polaroid shirt, um, you know, with all kinds of colors, right? Saying that, you know, um, you know the, 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 the sexual spectrum, right, must be respected or whatever, or acknowledged and accepted. And um, we disagree with it all, you see. But MGTOW is not about bringing about social change by holding off and uh, thinking that other people are going to change our, you know, they're going to change their behavior because we are so powerful, right? Because we are men and they can't do without us, right? Because men are the ones that run society. Uh, there is some, some, you know, a, a lot of truth to the statement that, hey, we run society, right? We, we do the heavy work. We bear the burden of, you know, putting it all together and maintaining it. But the fact that we are going to um, walk away from it all, um, you know, it's, it's not, it's not a, it's not a remedy. It's not a remedy for social change. See, and, and so that's not what MGTOW is about. And I, and I, I notice that a lot of guys are coming into MGTOW. Uh, this new wave of MGTOW people that are coming in. Uh, part of it having to do with the, you know, the 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 MGTOW movie that uh, Hammerhand put out. You know, it, it brought a lot of people into MGTOW. Turns out that movies and long videos um, are you know are what YouTube wants, right? Um, so that uh, people keep watching and so 
so uh, you know no doubt the movie helped uh, spread the philosophy you see but a lot of people are coming into the manosphere and they need to be educated as to what MGTOW really is about in my case I have a I have somewhat of a, a boutique channel and thanks to this last video I lost some subscribers uh, for putting my views out there so in a small channel like mine you know that's saying something you know people left um, but that's okay with me I remember the days when I had six subscribers and quite honestly I could give a rat's ass if people come or go um, I'm not gonna change my philosophy and my views because some guy decides that you know he wants to go about his business uh, in a Bible thumping way right so so that uh, you know he can have his traditionalism back you know let me tell you something these girls are not about to return to the kitchen anytime soon for you pal it's not gonna happen it's not going to happen no matter how hard you thump that Bible and um, and then you know there was one guy out there that said you know um, or the, the uh, you know or they try to make it make it believe as though you know MGTOW is, is uh, it's not a secular philosophy you know but there's no evidence to the contrary there's nothing in that Bible that says your girl has to cook for you she has to be stuck in the kitchen for you and she has to be submissive to you well yes I'm sorry I'll take that back uh, the Bible does uh, put the woman in a submissive role in many instances right uh, in the case of uh, Lot's wife she disobeyed her husband and she turned into a pile of salt uh, of course you know Eve at the very beginning of the Bible in Genesis um, she uh, she lied to Adam right she offered the apple uh, to her husband um, and and that caused her fall from heaven supposedly but um, you know to me like I said I'm, an, I'm a hardcore atheist and that's all fictional it's all fictional it's a fictional story created by men and uh, do the stories have value yes they do have value in my point in, you know from from my perspective that they, they have a, a, a what could be argued as some value but um, I, I you know times have changed and uh, a secular era has brought us way more than um, anything that any religion has offered man and uh, again in the case of Christianity we're talking 2,000 plus years of, of nothing but bullshit and if you want to put this video you know if you want to go ahead and flag this video go ahead and fucking flag it I don't care um, I'm you know I'm not gonna be silent these are my beliefs and that's that if you don't like the channel you also know what to do I'm not backtracking I want to offer truth and reality to men out here truth you know things that you don't hear elsewhere you, you want to believe that uh, that everything's fine and dandy then go ahead you know go on your merry ways believing that everything is fine and, and you'll die happy you know lies are sweet lies are sweet but the truth is the truth sometimes can be painful and the truth that I'm spewing out here is uh, is a truth that says that you have to be self-reliant and self-sufficient and you have to acknowledge the fact that hey we are truly alone in this planet we are truly alone uh, women are a um, you know as far as as far as we're concerned they, they can be they can be another species right with the way they think uh, they have a different physiology a different physiognomy and they think different than men um, because of that right so so they're in a world of their own and and whatever we can we can manage to to get from uh, you know from our, our thinking from our reason from our logic right uh, that's that's the only thing we're gonna get uh, as we you know I stand here on this bridge and it's the creation of man you see it took ingenuity to put this bridge together so that I can sit so that I can uh, you know sit here on my bike uh, talking to you guys you know from from thousands of mi thousands of miles away looking at this beautiful scenery here uh, it took it took a lot of ingenuity for people to put it all together you know so so that so that we can walk across water um, so MGTOW again it's not about bringing social change it's not it's about being free 
It's about walking away from the things that oppress you and that have uh, chained you as a man in the past. And one of those things has been religion. Uh, we have to look at the, the history of uh, you know, religion in general. And we have you know, things like the, the Spanish Inquisition. We have things like the Crusades. Um, you know, where thousands and thousands of lives were lost and up to you know up to present day um, you know we have uh, we have wars against our you know people people that could be our friends right our civilizations that were once that were once uh, you know at, at the top of you know everything that was that was ingenious everything that was that was beautiful everything that was uh, that was creative and, and, and at the cutting edge of technology those civilizations have declined uh, like in the case of the Islamic civilization, they have declined as a result of of what uh, what this uh, you know, religious ideologies have brought to them. Um, it's cancer for the mind, um, and it doesn't talk to people about self-reliance and responsibility. It leaves it all to an uh, an invisible entity, and that was the purpose of my last video to. To tell you guys that it do, that doesn't have to be the case, it does not have to be the case. Let's be responsible, um, and that's the only way to achieve true freedom: to be responsible, right? To be in control. We do not want to relinquish our control to a ghost. And, uh, anyways, um, that's what I think about that. Uh, Greg Adams put out a great video. Um, the other uh, a couple days ago, I think it was yesterday, talking about how in the future we are going to uh, we are going to see how or we're gonna we're gonna you know our, our future generations are gonna question how come we did not liberate ourselves from the shackles uh, that women have imposed on us, right? How was it so that um, men allowed? Uh, women to to get away with so much with enslaving us with um, basically having us you know work for them and 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 do everything for them right how, how did we get away how did they get away with a Ghana centric society without us uh, fighting it I thought it was a great video I have in the past disagreed with uh, coach Greg Adams uh, on an occasion I think uh, it was a video having to do with um, you know what you what you pass on to your daughter, um, but I think the man is on point on on you know 99.9% .9 of things he says, and uh, and uh, that's that's one thing you know if if we're talking about freedom, uh, we're not just talking about freedom from you know from from women right we're talking about freedom from from this this oppressive religions that say that you have to kneel. Uh, in front of you know in front of this woman in the eyes of God right we have to remember how these religions were used against men right to to promote gynocentrism to promote marriage to promote the the shackling of men right so uh, my message here to you is be free do not uh, kneel across, you know, uh, uh, do not kneel in front of anything. You can't be free if you're kneeling in front of anything. Uh, putting yourself in a position of supplication. Uh, are you kneeling in front of a woman asking for marriage, right? Because this was, this was the idea, that, that you knelt in front of her um, so that God could see, right? In, in the eyes of God, you were, you were kneeling before it all. It was, it was all greater than greater than uh, something greater than yourself and that's how marriage was sold uh, to men in the times when religion ruled and we have the that's that's why we kneel in front of a woman when we when we uh, when we ask her to marry us right um, and this idea that uh, that we you know chivalry that we that we uh, cede to the to the weak right that's also a Ghana-centric idea peddled by these religions. So, those are my views. 
And like I said, this is somewhat of a boutique channel. I don't publish much. Um, you know, if, if you want mass appeal, you know, if you, if you want something soft, then there are other channels out there that do a great job. Me, I don't care. I may get kicked out anytime soon, even with just 100 subscribers or 100 plus, whatever I have now. Um, because, because of what I'm saying. And, and that's that. That's why I don't show my face, because I want to say everything I want to say. And I don't want anybody um, coming to me and, you know, doxing me. But if I'm going to get kicked out, then so be it. If, uh, you know, if, if the Bible thumpers disagree, then let them disagree. Right? That's what it's all about. Freedom of speech. You can't have freedom of speech, which I think is somewhat of a myth, by the way. Um, but for as long as people believe it, I'm going to try and use it. So anyways, um, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.